drums. Highly honored maestro, I have always seen Bayreuth as the fulfillment of a high artistic mission. I look forward to the moment when I shall personally be able to thank you for your participation. With sincere admiration, Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Bronislaw Hubermann, the great violinist, did something few artists do. He stood up to tyranny, intolerance, and racism. He stepped out in front with all of his stardom and fame to show that the threat of Nazism would not destroy the cultural achievement of the Jewish people. He said, this is a rescue mission, this is an artistic mission, I'm going to do it, and he did it. He was, at the time, one of the most famous figures in music, and he could have been promoting himself and making a lot of money. It was unbelievable. Luckily for my family, nobody had to go through the ordeals of concentration camps, thanks to Huberman, because getting my father out not only saved his life, but also his sister's. did was something that had to do with leadership as well. Huberman had a calling, and he followed that calling, and we are grateful. We are very grateful. What he did with this orchestra, this is our victory. He saved our culture.